Hey, welcome back friends. So today I'm going to show you this sweet little solar setup that we have been using all summer long. Uh, it's been nice to have around actually. I, I, there's been times where I felt like we really didn't need one of these, but once we've had one, it's kind of been nice. So I'm going to tell you what all we've ran with it. I'm going to give you our experience with it, and then I'll give you some, some specs on the unit, some technical specs on it that are way out of my league that I don't half understand, but I know some of you would be interested. But yeah, let's take a look at the LI Power Mars 1000. Okay guys, let's get some close up of this unit. I'm sure you've seen enough of my face. But uh, yeah, this has been a handy little unit, really. Now, let me be clear, I'll show you a picture in the B-roll. You're gonna get more of a display now on the newer units. We've had this for about four months and we've taken it to the beach. We've ran uh, portable refrigerators on it, portable coolers, laptops, phones. Um, my neighbor actually has ran his ham radio off of it and it's worked great he's he's had his phone his laptop and his ham radio hooked up to it for hours at a time and it's worked really really well you see the uh the solar charger that comes with it i think that's a 100 watt charger it folds up i'll show you some of that in the b-roll but yeah it's been a handy little unit uh i I've, i'm excited that they put in a new display on it because it'll let you know where it's at percentage wise charging and um, and how much battery it, it has left so that'll be nice but you can see all of its hookups here all of its different inputs and outputs and we've just really enjoyed it a um, couple things not a really long video I, there's not much else to say about it I do want to give you the technical specs on it while we're looking at it so we'll start here with the actual battery and I've got my little cheat sheet here uh, 1100 watt hours 12.5 volts, 8 amps for DC input. Um, the uh, the photo input is 12 volts to 30 volts, 8 amps. The solar charge input supports 18 volts to 30 volts. AC output is 110 volts and uh, 60 hertz. It's got the pure sine wave technology. If you don't know what the pure sine wave is, things like laptops, things with little motors, um, they can get damaged if they give you if you give surge of power. That's my understanding So this is going to give you more of a pure line of power with this battery uh, USB a outputs 5 volts 2.4 amps USB fast charge outputs 5 volt 5 volts 3 amps uh, Then 9 volts 2 amps 12 volts 1.5 amps and 18 watts I have no clue what all that means, but some of you definitely will all this will be up on the screen for you anyway um, USB-C output, you can see that there on the screen. And DC output, 12 volts, 8 amps. Cigar port output, I think that's funny, they call that a, a cigar port. It's actually a marine version, so that, that's a good thing. That can get a little wet, I assume. Um, 12 volts, 8 amps. Working temperature, 14 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not gonna be a problem here in Georgia. Uh, negative 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Yeah, a lot of protections here, short circuit protection, overcharge protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, over power protection. And then you can see the certifications down there. I have no clue what that means, but some of you will. Now let's talk about the little foldable solar panel here. And uh, this is the Apole or Apole 100. I'm not sure how to say that, but monocrystalline uh, solar cells 23% conversion efficiency. My understanding into that, that's pretty good. Uh, maximum working voltage, 18 volts. Maximum current, 5.55 amps. Peak power, 120 watts. USB output, 18 watts. Type-C output, 45 watts. Yeah, it's got some uh, USB chargers back here in the back. I'll show you that in the uh, in the B-roll. And then waterproof and dustproof. You can see the rating there. Um, Optimum generation period between 10 and 5, and then you can angle it, obviously, if you're at a perpendicular, you're going to be better. And then the best temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, just like the uh, the lithium battery over here. So anyway, guys, I thought I would show you this. I've, again, we've torture tested, and you can still see sand here from the beach. Um, it was hot. It was sandy. 
Uh, we've got fans on each side. Make sure you guys know that. Cooling fans on each side. My neighbor did warm it up to the point where the fans had to kick on. It worked really, really good. Uh, you got your photo in right here. You got the DC in right here. And yeah, there's just not a whole lot to talk about except we've had a good experience with it and it could be a nice option for you. One big negative, and I, and I don't know why this is. I'm not smart enough in this stuff. You can't use this while it's charging. So that's a big negative there. That's something I feel like needs to be fixed. I don't know why that's the case. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Hop down in the comment section and let me know why uh, this can't be used while it's charging. Well, you can use it, I'm sorry, but if you're using it, it won't charge. So there you go. Maybe it gets too hot. I, I have no clue. I really don't know, guys. But, uh, but I have enjoyed having it and being able to use it. I mean, this thing will run our portable cooler for a good 40 hours. I mean, it's, it's 36 to 40 hours. So, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something like this is useful you, for, to you or if you enjoyed learning about this product on, the, on this channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. See ya.